Hello guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So we are underway to Newark, USA until the crew called me that one of our bunker defeat is not working properly. They said that the hook cannot be hoist up so I need to check what is the problem onto the system. For those who are new to this channel, part of our responsibility is to take care of the cranes whether it is the engine room crane, the lifeboat davids, and even the monorail crane. And so for today's vlog, we will be fixing one of the bunker david, which is the one located onto the starboard side. So the first thing we did is of course to consult the wiring diagram. And looking at the wiring diagram, since we have down operation and only up operation is missing, we need to focus on the up operation only. We will not be focusing on the common line of the up and down, which led us to the limit switch of the up operation. So we need to measure the contacts of this limit switch if it is still in closed position. And after measuring the resistance, I can get 3.3 mega ohms, which means that it is almost in open position since we will be working on to this electrical system we need to switch off the control panel for our own safety and for those who are new to this channel this bunker david has a lot of limit switches for its own safety we have limit switch for laughing slowing and there is a modification which they added a limit switch onto the manual crank handle so that just in case that you will do manual turning onto the drum there will still be safety that will cut the motor operation and going back to our limit switch this is the condition of this bunker david limit switch up operation luckily when i went to the workshop i found a substitute spare which is this is spare is for the elevator and we will be needing the normally open uh, contacts for this operation. So we will be connecting the wires onto this red contacts, which is, as you can see, it is in open state. And don't get too confused on to the normally open and normally closed operation. Since there is a weight onto the hook, it means it is already activated hence if the hook will be down the contacts of the limit switch should be in closed position that's why we will be using the normally open contacts so by the way they gave me an assistant which is one of our ordinary seamen and we just change this limit switch and keep in mind that after uh, replacing these spare parts you have to make another requisition so that you can replenish the spare parts and then after that we tried and tested the system if it will work fine and as you can see we now have up operation so we tested all the limit switch for the safety of this bunker david and everything is activating and deactivating as intended so as of now this this bunker david is now ready to use uh, for the bunker operation which will be held in newark new jersey so now moving to our next troubleshooting so i was called by the chief cook to check one of its equipment for cooking which is the hot plate so he said when he was cooking he felt a little electric shock and one of the hot plate is not heating properly so i let the system to cool down and in the afternoon i decided to check it so keep in mind again to isolate the power and use lockout tag out for our own safety and as you can see it is the breaker number one that we need to drop off and isolate 
then we are free to check and touch any wirings onto our hot plate so moving on to our hot plate i just open the front cover and as you can see and look at the wirings they are not in good condition so what i did is i did an insulation resistance check and line to ground i'm getting around 16 mega ohms and i believe this 16 mega ohms will even drop once this hot plate will get hot so i have decided to dismantle the hot plate number three since this, this is the one that is giving uh, not so good resistance so it is just easy to replace i just removed the bolt and i lifted the hot plate good thing that i have spare hot plate on board and i also have spare cables because looking at the condition of these cables they are not so good anymore as a good practice and a good tips for you guys always put markings onto the cable whenever you are dismantling them onto the terminals so that you will not get them mixed hence it will lessen your job and make it a little bit faster than the usual so what i did is i just replaced the cable install them one by one in every terminals and then i just made sure that everything will be as it is so that the system will work fine and we will not have any trouble because the selector switch has six operations and this will help you to lessen the amount of time of troubleshooting so i just replaced the hot plate and the chief cook was able to use it during the preparation of our barbecue party so as you can see we were able to have a good and nice food which was cooked by our chief cook and then in the afternoon we had this barbecue party and it is our first week on board and we have a lot of uh, new system on board and i am happy to share it to you guys all the upcoming uh, videos and tutorials that i will be doing so that I can share all my knowledge and experiences within this new journey and I would like to thank you for all your continued support to this channel even though I was missing for the past three months so that's it guys I hope you learned something from this video and this is your lucky Jake and see you